After giving birth to her baby boy, Billy Sheridan Smith has uh, revealed motherhood is the best feeling in the world and she is in awe of her body after growing a little human inside of it. And this got us thinking about the times that we've been proud and, I don't know, we could say in awe of ourselves. Now, obviously, you know, Sheridan's talking about the physicality of her body yeah. and literally mm -hmm. growing a little person. Yeah. But have you ever been in awe of yourself? Um, I think... Uh, yeah, it, it's a proud of yourself and in, and in awe of yourself. I've never really considered it in awe of myself, but yeah. I think I have allowed myself to be proud of myself because I've made a lot of mistakes in life and I've mm -hmm. tried to own them, as they say in America, and, and, and move on from them. But yeah. I think probably at the risk of some of the nation going, yawn, here she goes again, <laughs> which does make me laugh sometimes because it is one's life that we talk about on yeah. this show. Yeah. But um, I think probably turning my life around in my later years. Yeah. Because I think that there is a lot to... A lot of people think that... I'm too old. I've made my bed. I've got to lie in it, either with decisions that they want mm. to change mm. or ruts they've got themselves yeah. into or relationships that, yeah. they, that, that they're in. And I was in a very dark place um, with self-medication for various reasons. Yeah. And um, I turned my life around with the help of my husband yeah. and eight years ago got sober. And But it's not... I am proud of myself for me but I'm more proud of myself because of the ripple effect that that has had on my family, yeah. particularly the three children we have between us. Yeah. Because it's meant that they can live their lives not worrying about us. And yeah. that, to me, has given them a freedom and given them wings. Yeah. And also for my dad, um, I wish my mum had lived longer to see my, my, my different life. Um, but that, to me, is something that I... I I kind yeah. of give myself a little pat you on the should. back sometimes. Yeah, and that if should. I can use my experience to help others, then mm. that's what I tr try to do. So it's not in awe, but yeah. I am proud of myself for that. You and, should. Carol, you will disagree with this, because I know what you like, but I'm in awe of you yeah. for how brave you've been through your oh. own battle with your body. Oh, I and I know you hate that. these words. <laughs> you hate these words like brave and battle and all this. But, do you know, let us give you a pat on the back. Put that compliment in your, in your pocket and take it, cos you're awesome. OK, I'll take that from you, Andrea. Thank you. But I'm just not very good with compliments like that. I mean, I am in awe of, of my body and the, the human body in yeah. itself for the way it can recover from things, from yeah. the way that it, it can deal with stuff. But I'm quite proud of myself. Not, I mean, I've got nothing to match Denz's achievements for what she's achieved over the past few years, but I'm, I, I feel quite proud of myself that um, I have such a, a handsome young husband. I think that's quite <laughs> something All right. to yes. be proud of. OK, and, so do know, I, yes. And that's it. And I wrote a book once, and that's about it. And I'm 60 years old, so there's two things. I'm yeah. trying to think of some more things, Listen, but there, yeah, there isn't pr proud, much. But proud that we're you, still yeah. that. You're trying welcome. to be relevant and do some things to help others. And I yeah. echo what Andrea said. And yes, proud that you broke your seven-year drought. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember it. We all remember it. Do you remember? Oh, birds, blood. <laughs> it was like a sonic boom. Literally, Kelly, you weren't here then. Literally, birds were like, <laughs> out of the trees. It was incredible. <laughs> moment, incredible moment. <laughs> um, but Kelly, as well, you've you've had your own journey that you you are continuing to experience. You had your last round of chemotherapy what weeks weeks ago, three weeks ago? I, oh no. Um, so it was actually last week, Friday. Last week? Um, okay. I had my last uh, wow. rituximab infusion. So I was yeah. In so I basically have one infusion every six months, which okay. keeps my disease under control and enables me to live you know practically a normal life, Amazing. which I'm really grateful for because I'm in that position where I can live a, a pretty much normal life. Um, but obviously, as you showed the clip earlier, um, where I've come from since 2016 is a, a massive, yeah. long, long, Can long Can we show journey. a little clip of that again? Because I think people seeing you here now, you look like there's nothing wrong with you. Let's have a look at you in 2016. It kind of co... Sorry. Coincided. Yeah. yeah. Coincided with the... When I was... Um, when I left the group. Lupus yeah. is, is stress-related and definitely aggravated by stress. Mm -hmm. So um, it, was a, it was a combination of things going on in my life at the time that were, you know, all very stressful. And then I had a seizure. Mm -hmm. And I was... Now, you, you were struggling with your speech there. Yeah. 
It's, 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 it's hard it, for you. Yeah, it's still hard uh, to watch it. Because, you know, it, what people forget to realise is that it's a, it's a real life. Yeah. You know, like, I commend each and every one of you. I know that you worry about being trolled. I know that you worry about being self-deprecating, Carol. But these are real lives mm -hmm. that we are sharing with everybody. And I think that people forget that sometimes yes. because we are in the public eye. But we are being brave enough to share those things in order to help you, our viewers, in order to help other people out there that may be struggling. But that, unfortunately, that was me pretty well. Um, so I'm going to show a clip that I've never showed before of what it was actually like in the beginning. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But I just came today to... so that somebody didn't have to go through what I go, go through. God. I didn't know you. I didn't know you then. I didn't. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I never watch it just because I find it a little bit too painful to, to remember, to kind of put myself back in that situation. But that was me, and those are the effects of lupus. Yeah. And you know, and the reason that I talk about it is because there is an, an awareness of lupus, like there is of cancer. If I could hug you, Dee, I would. Like there is of cancer and like there is of other diseases, there just isn't, which is why I am, you know, willing to use my story to help other people yeah. to understand the effects of the disease. And it's, you know... To show people the yeah, impact of stress show, on a physical... Yeah, on a physical, on a physical body, body. And what a disease can do to you. But equally, like the day after uh, my infusion last week, Friday, I went out on a run. Because I was like, I actually don't want to <clears throat> allow myself to feel like a victim. I knew that two days later I'd be on set and I'd be filming. And so I just took the decision just to go out and run. And I did post about it to encourage other people that may be going through the same thing. And not that I'm saying that, you know, you should ignore medical advice. I get that. But what works for me because is to take control. Because you live with it. Yeah, I yeah. live mm. with it, is to take control of it. Yeah. And the way I take control of it is putting it under my thumb, yeah. saying, yeah, lupus, you're a part of my life, but you're not the whole of my yeah, life. Yeah, you're not defined by you're that. Not, yeah. No, and you've kind of got to know your place in my life, and it's under like my thumb. So, so, yes, I am not in awe, but I am incredibly proud of the way that I do my best to handle it, yeah. you know, to show, to show others how to handle and it. And you so, should be, yeah. Kelly, and you're how amazing. Proud your kids will you be really are amazing. You. And uh, we do have to say as well that we have put some uh, helplines on our website for anyone who wants any information on this.